सो गुड आफ्टरनून गाइज फॉर टूडेज लैब ऑन बायोमेडिकल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग और एम इज टू रिकॉर्ड एंड एनालाइज मसल एक्टिविटी यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रोमायोग्राफ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इलेक्ट्रोमायोग्राफी इज ऑल्सो कॉल ई एम जी इट इज ए डायग्नोस्टिक प्रोसीजर यूज टू एक्सेस द हेल्प ऑफ द मसल्स एंड नर्व सेल्स दैट कंट्रोल जिम विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल मोटर न्यूरोन्स इट इन्वॉल्व द इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी produced by skeletal muscles using an instrument called electromyograph and the resulting record is known as electromyogram the record is called myogram and the recording instrument is called myograph and it is similar difference like em eeg now it is commonly used to diagnose the function that affects muscles and nerve function so motor unit it is refers to as it is refers to as a single motor neuron and all the muscle fiber it stimulates here when a motor neuron sends electrical signal to all the muscle fibers in that motor unit contract simultaneously the collective electrical activity is recorded as motor unit action potential which is also short formally known as muir during a emg test here is the diagram from which we can understand in the motor neuron the signal is collected from the spinal cord which is a part of central nervous system to the muscle fiber where it can twitch and produces action yeah. emg has been divided into three phases which are first input phase in this phase the electrodes in this is placed on the skin to pick up the electrical potential from the contracting muscles there are two types of um, contraction first uh, on the basis of the contraction there's a signal being processed now the processing phase the processing phase includes the amplifier to amplify the input signal now next is the output phase in this phase the electrical signal is converted to visual or audible signal so that the data can be an displaced and analyzed next are the equipments and the material so for this we need a laptop with the rms emg seller software installed in it then we need some three surface electrodes then the rms emg seller's machine for recording that at alcohol and cotton for cleaning purposes and conducting gel for conduction here next is the electrodes electrodes are the there are two types of electrode that being used first is surface electrodes and second is needle electrodes surface electrode is a non invasive electrodes while the needle electrodes are invasive electrodes so in the surface electrode there are three most commonly used are metal electrodes self adhesive electrodes free gel electrode while in needle electrodes there are four bipolar electrodes monopolar needle electrodes single fiber needle electrodes and macro needle electrodes now what artifacts we come to artifacts artifacts is any unwanted electrical activity that arise outside of a tissue being examined it can be sufficiently voltage to distort the output signal marking such as those from the other in electrical instruments and light okay the observer observes the output signal on computer screen to monitor artifacts here is the data collection process here the recording of the muscle activity there are two types of data collection states first is the resting state in which the patient need to be relaxed and not contracting any muscles and because why why we need resting state is because we need to take the baseline electrical activity from the muscle recorded next is a voluntary contraction in this a patient need to perform a specific muscle contraction like lifting a weight so that it will contract muscle contracted uh, data we can collect recording the electrical activity during the contraction observing the changes in amplitude and frequency of the emg signals here is a diagram of how we can place an electrode in the muscle so we can get maximum input in the first case when the electrode is placed right above from away from the central point it shows some less amount of emg signal while in the second case the blue circle in that we place the muscle in we place the electrode right in the center point of the muscle so we get highest emg signal from that second is little bit left tilted right tilted from that uh, muscle from the previous electrode so it will get less like, less amplitude because the muscle is not the, the signal is not trans, transverse horizontally as far as far as good as transverse so last is the electrode is being placed too far from the muscle uh, contraction region so we can get any type of signal from that next is the data analysis in the data analyzing emg signals 
Amplitude amplitude measures the peak to peak voltage of the EMG signal. The high amplitude indicates stronger muscle contraction. Frequency the frequency component of the EMG signal analyzed using Fourier transform. Identify domain frequency using muscle activity. High frequency correlate with faster muscle fibers. These are my references for the PPT. Thank you.